Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Yoruba actress Fitia Williams, formerly known as Fitia Balogo, got a double dose of celebration on her birthday as she got engaged to her man the same day. This actress celebrated her birthday in Istanbul, Turkey on the 5th of February 2020 and she said yes after her boyfriend got down on one knee and proposed to her. This beautiful actress is now ready to dive back into the pool of marriage. In a video shared on the internet, the actress was seen gushing over a new engagement ring as she expressed her joy. While the identity of the man who has sealed the deal with her is yet to be known, the actress sure looks happy. So congratulations to Fetia Balogo. Almost everyone knows about this beautiful and talented Nigerian actress, filmmaker, producer and director. Her full name is Fetia Akorede Aduni Williams. She was born on February 5, 1969 in Ikeja. She's a Yoruba actress and originally from Okpara in Delta State. She's 51 years old and surely aging beautifully. Vita Williams was formerly married to Nollywood veteran Said Balogo. Their marriage crashed some 13 years ago to the dismay of many fans as they hoped for them to reunite. Vita is blessed with three kids. She had a daughter from her first marriage and two children, Eboa and a girl, Khalida and Aliyah Balogu, from her marriage with Said Balogu. Thirteen years after their crashed marriage, Fetia Williams featured Said Balogu in a new movie. In the photos posted on Fetia's page, she was spotted with her ex-husband on the film set. Despite their differences, they have buried the hatchet and moved on as colleagues. These are all the facts you didn't know about Fetia Williams. Fetia Williams attended Maryland Primary School and Maryland Compressive High School in Lagos State, where she obtained a West African School Certificate before she proceeded to Kwara State Polytechnic, where she received a Diploma Certificate. She has third produced and directed several Yoruba Nollywood films over the years, including Farayola Awawu Omoali Omomumi, Omobrikitu, Omo Sheparo, Ife Afisuru, Ori Abilebumi, Basira Badia, and Shola Arikusa, just to mention a few. In the year 2008, she won the African Movie Academy Award for the Most Outstanding Actress, Indigenous Category, and her movie, Irma Shaji, won the Best Indigenous Film of the Year. In April 2014, she won the African Movie Academy Award, having emerged as Best Actress of the Year, alongside Oldun Lade Adekwola, who emerged as Best Actor of the Year. Fetia Williams also won the Best Indigenous Language Yoruba Award for the work done in the film Yalalake at the 2015 African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards, AMVCA. She is indeed an outstanding actress. Fetia Williams revealed that the task of growing up and handling the fame of becoming a recognizable star today were some of the hurdles that she had to cross back then. When it comes to taking up roles, Fetia is familiar with the system and she takes anything that she comes across as a challenge. Then she takes up the challenge and delivers her role to the best of her ability. In her words, I believe that is what you would call taking it in your stride. For Fetia, she does not see any role as awkward or strange. In her words, I don't think I have had any irritating role because every role is meant to show exactly how it happens in the real world and positively influence the viewers. We are just acting. So far so good. Over the years, it is the nationwide television program Super Story, The Face of the Seats, that Fetia has been the most proud of to be involved with. Because she had to play the role of an aged woman. For her, that was very interesting and she had a great time. That was the first time that she actually played as an aged woman. This beautiful actress relaxes by sleeping and watching movies. She says she also relaxes by rehearsing scripts that she has written or the ones that she has been contracted to do. For her, it is high life and juju music that she loves listening to, specifically King Sonia Day and Jazzy Blues. Fetia once confessed that she loves the job and she's always very happy when she's on set. Fetia Williams believes that Nigerian morals, values, roots, knowledge and sense of wisdom is very important and the importance cannot be stressed enough when it comes to their work. She strongly believes that this is exactly what gives Nigerian movies the edge over most other industries at the moment. 
This niche is extremely important for viewers who are at home and abroad. So in Kokei to remind and record our ways and values on the story script or screenplay of our films, how does Fetia Balogun manage to unless keep and pass Nigerian cultural values across in our films? She says with a well thought out script with proper revision where and when necessary is key. That we live life and still have knowledgeable people. The elders within our communities and sometimes borrowed this wisdom to keep us a step ahead, she said. Vita Balogun believes that the Nigerian movie industry is going to compete with other giant movie making continents. Fetia Balogun Williams is an A-list actress and she has worked with other A-list actors and actresses including Yinka Kodri, Said Balogun, Jideko Soko, Adibaya Salami, Shola Shobo Ale, Hejo Gumola, Ronke Oshodioki, Remy Oshodi, Odunladi Adekola, Funke Akindili, just to mention a few. Fetia Williams actually shared an experience that she had in the year 2019. She shared an encounter, an interesting story of a young man who was trying to woo her despite their age difference. This actress shared her encounter with a mysterious young man on her Instagram page. According to her, even though she told the man that her second son is about to get into the university and that she has a man, the young man, the young man still remained optimistic. In her words, I met one young man who is around 30 years in the US. He asked for my name and number. He asked that I should show him my IG page. That he wanted a relationship. I told him my second child is on his way to university already and I have a man already. He said I lied with my age. I collected his number and insisted that I want to give him mine. I couldn't stop laughing all through the trip back home. I won't call him, but I truly like how self assured he came across. He was smart, full of life, optimistic, and I need not say how handsome he is. I thought about him more than once. And then I had to delete his number. The young men out there are not playing, she wrote. On June 26, 2016, Fetia was conferred with a chieftaincy title at a ceremony held at the Nigerian Railway Corporation in Ebute Meta, Lagos State. The actress was conferred with a chieftaincy title, adding another feather to her cap. Celebrities in attendance included Tayo Sindodo, Kemi Afolabi, the late Mujolaya Kenyin Deroda, Akiri Made, and several others. The title is said to be in connection with the way Fetia represents the good image of Islam in her conduct. The mom of three went to Mecca, Saudi Arabia to observe the Muslim Hajj pilgrimage. She was photographed with her colleague, Daya Musa, wearing white hijabs as they enjoyed coffee alongside Daya Musa's mother. Before then, Fetia Williams launched a Performance Training Academy, our house of performing arts. The actress took to her Instagram to announce that Powerhouse of Performing Arts is a place where several talents can be discovered and nurtured. The actress shared a logo with a caption, I've always wanted to help people discover their talents, nurture it to bring out the best in them. There are several hundreds of people with the flair and talent for acting, directing, costuming, special effects, makeup, set design, and so on. But they don't have the right platform or avenue to help showcase what they've got to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, I hereby introduce to you Fetia Balogun's powerhouse of performing arts, a place where several talents can be discovered and nurtured, a home of several opportunities, she wrote. What is Fetia Williams' message to her fans in Nigeria, America, and United Kingdom, Europe, Africa, and so on? She requests for more prayers from them. It should also bear in mind that she is privileged to be in a position to entertain them. And without them and God, she's a nobody, she said. Well, Fetia Balogun is set to actually walk down the aisle very soon. Congratulations once again to this beautiful actress on her engagement. We have come to the end of this episode on Fetia Williams. Congratulations once again. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. Until next time, remain blessed.